You're adopted. You're a mistake. Here, give me that. Ow, mom, he hit me. Get out of my room. I'm not in your room. Thank you. This one has more. Here you go. Hey, Lexi, come here. Why? Just come here. No, you're going to hit me. Get under the bed and did this. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Something just touched my foot. Brent. Brent, something just touched my foot. What are you even talking oh, about? Oh, my God. I have no. There's I nothing know. under yes, the bed. Yes, there is. I swear. Oh, my God. Ah! You don't do that at somebody's house. Uh, is everything okay? No, my baby just pooped in the pool. <gasps> That's disgusting. How old is he? 1,200 weeks. He should know better. You know, I have my business going. My husband is always working. Well, is there anything I can do? <sighs> yeah, you can mind your own business. Andrew! Hi, Kyle. I'm Dr. Funny Money. What type of name is that? It's my YouTube channel. You subscribed before you came in, right? Yes. Now, can we get on with... What's up, YouTube? Today, we're doing a physical tutorial. What? Doc, put the camera down! If I lose subs because of this, all right, just breathe in deep for me. All right. Oh my, Kyle, you have super cancer in your lungs. What? <laughs> we got him, y'all. If we get 23 subscribers, I'll do a part two of my fake anesthesia prank. Well, I'm gonna make you YouTube famous. And hit the subscribe button, not me. This is Robert. A customer? Sir, the day finally came. B but I'm a Robert. Close enough. You can have anything you want, sir. You can have all the money we have. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. If you take a meat mountain sandwich with it. You know what? I'm gonna just rob somewhere else. Just try it. Don't make me go green eggs and ham on you. Well, at least I can pull this robbery off. Hey, no, no, no. You can steal all the money and computers you want, but I draw the McLean extra sauce or soda. Oh, yeah? And what you better do about it? What was that? Ah! Mm. Is that acid or something? Nah, McDonald's Sprite, but same effect. <laughs> it's burning my throat. I can't even see. Oh! Hey, I feel your pain. I lost my balance the other day, too. Those debt collectors really be quick to drain your account. Why isn't there a wet floor sign? Wet floor sign's broke. Haven't we been through this or am I having Deja McVu? Here, let me just do let it. Just no, I got. I'll get it. Don't worry, it's right here. What is that? Oh, these are barbecue tongs. Don't worry, it's right here. Oh, this is my neighbor. He has smaller hands than me. He ride bikes on the weekend. Uh, keep reaching, buddy. Oh, this is Dr. Deepak. He's performing a surgical extraction. I think we got it. Would you like a bite? <sighs> what? Ryan is so full of lies, I don't even know where he has room for the audacity. Hey, how's it going? They're gossiping again about him. Oh, no way, really? I know, it's good, come here. <laughs> well, his family and Jessica's family are on this camping trip together, and Ryan and Jessica spent the night in the sleeping bag together last night because it was too cold outside. Oh, well, yeah, the weather says that it was 70 degrees last night, so. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, just break up with him already. <gasps> Adam, Siri, Siri. Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh, it was just Siri. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, what a couple of dummies. <laughs> Out here carving them up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go sleep, wounded. This shit be easy. He's carving their ass up. Hold on, I got another. This out the ordinary. How he not dead? Come on, bro. A knife, bro. I done emptied the clip and threw a bomb. And I quit, dog. You ready for your big surprise, babe? Yeah, babe. I'm right, so excited. Yeah, in here. I Open love it. Surprises. Open it. Mm. Whoa! What? Yo, babe, what is this? Babe, this is a girl that was liking, commenting, and DMing you. What? Well, why would you do this, babe? Oh, <laughs> you see, I had a little conversation with her, and she understands now that she's gonna be a good girl, not like, comment, or DM you, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. okay. Now, one thing you need to do before you end up there is unfollow her. You got it. Unfollow oh, her. Hold, hold on. I got this. I got mm -hmm. this. Stay strong, girl. Let Un me see. Unfollow. Unfollow. Okay. There. We're yeah. done. All right. Thank you, babe. Okay. I think me. we should drop her off now, though, because she might be a little thirsty. Okay. 
Okay. She's only been in there for two days. Oh, oh okay. Let's go. Let's That's go. a little extreme. A little. I don't trust any of your friends. Why? You want me to show you why? Yeah. Call one of your friends right now. Call them right now. Oh. Hey, Rosie. Hey. Hey, what's up? Yo, I haven't heard from Desiree all day. Is she with you? Yeah, she's actually with me right now. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Put her on the phone. Okay, one second. Hi, babe. Hey, babe, what's up? Hey, what's up? Well, you've been all day. You haven't texted me or called me. I'm actually doing my nails with Rosie. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. What? <laughs> Ain't that some BS, bro? I just <laughs> caught that on camera, bro. This is why I don't trust your friends, Des. She's this is good, why I don't trust your friends. She's a good friend. Hey, brand new shampoo or something. I don't know. Do something about your hair. I'm, I'm sick and tired of having your hair stuck in my butt crack. But it's natural. It falls out. It's not natural in my butt crack. It, 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 it's irritating me. It's irritating me. I'm getting a rash on my butt. Well, I have See? diaper cream. <laughs> this is not funny, bro. <laughs> every, every time I reach into my butt crack, look. Your hair. That's not okay. <laughs> no, that's not okay, Dad. Stop. It's natural. <laughs> He's here. You ready for this? Something we just gotta do. Let's do it. Isaiah! David, what's up? The sky. <laughs> yeah, the sky is uh, definitely up. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, what are we doing, bros? A little Fortnite? Not today, man. We actually brought you in here to tell you something. What's up? Man, I'm hot. Nice to meet you, hot. I'm David, and the air is on. What's with you guys? That was hilarious. See, that's the thing. It, it wasn't, though. Okay, I'm not following. Look, we asked you to come over because we have to stop hanging out with you. What? You guys are joshing me, right? <laughs> Who says joshing me? Hey, chill out. I got this. Look. Ever since you had kids, you, you turn into a dad. Well, you know what? That's normally what happens when you have kids. No, no that's, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Well, then what do you mean? You turn into a stereotypical dad. How? I mean, look at the way you're dressed. What? My wife says I look good. You're wearing a fanny pack. It's super convenient. It has my phone, my keys, my wallet, and my chapstick. Yeah, but it's not cool. So because I wear a fanny pack, socks, and sandals, all of a sudden I'm not lit, fam? Oh. It's not just that, it's your jokes, your puns. Okay, give me one example of a dad joke or pun that I did. When I answered the door, I said what's up, and you said this guy. So you're gonna fault me for stating a very logical and scientific statement. You were not trying to make a scientific statement. Okay, fine, so I made one lame dad joke. You burped me yesterday. You literally patted my back until I burped. I thought it was helping you. You drive a minivan. It is reliable, lots of space, great gas mileage, Safe. You go to bed at 8. I need my beauty sleep. All you do is talk about your kids. My kids are saints! Oh, by the way, Nightly just started doing 72 piece puzzles and he's only 2 years old. Isn't that amazing? David, stop. Look, I think it's best if you leave because our lives just don't add up anymore. Come on, guys. I'm still cool. I'm fam! Really, stop. Look. David, don't do this to yourself. Come on, guys. I learned this just for you guys. But you... Didn't have to. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's play a little bit of Fortnite, right? Have some dignity, man. <laughs> okay, fine. And to think I was like a father to you guys. How do you not see the problem with that? Well, then I guess I'll just have to go get ice cream with my other friends. Ice cream? No, oh, he did this last time. He always pays. I'm paying. Thanks for the ice cream. Oh, no. Hey. You got a little, hold on. Right there. I'm out of here, man. Joke's on him, because I'm taking you bowling. Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Welcome class, I'm Mr. Star, and I'll be teaching your class. Do we have a Keeley in here? It's Kyle. Oh, my bad, Callie, I'll remember for next time. No, Kyle! Whatever, Corral. Now, do we have any questions before class starts? Yeah, why is this class so expensive? Hey, this isn't just a class. It's a lifestyle. Plus, you get gold stars if I like you. Now, we're going to be learning about the history of mermaids, Hey, no donuts allowed in my class! But it's my breakfast. Dunk that donut and I'll dunk your grade. Don't test me! Ah, uh, Costco. Worst part of COVID was this ever shutting down. <laughs> Let's go. I think they have vaccines. <laughs> ah, are you kidding me? What are the odds? I just bought 50 shirts. 
Uh, yeah, Costco's a lot like my ex. <laughs> um, cheap and was giving samples to everybody. <laughs> Not just on the weekends. <laughs> Monday nights. Ah, uh, Costco. I mean, where else can you get a rotisserie chicken and a drone? <laughs> this is great, yeah. Typical Costco. Even their dog beds are ginormous. I think those are for humans. Are they? Okay. Well, I think they're... You want to get 10 of them? We just got a trough for the kiddos at home, so this is perfect. All right. Uh, ah, the produce room. <laughs> it's colder than Texas in February in here. <laughs> Do you have something, I, I like something a little drier, a little fruit on the nose, nice legs. Do you have that? Found it. <laughs> That's why I love Costco, man. Look at the size of this sirloin. <laughs> they don't make them like this at Walmart. Where do you find a cow this big? Got your oil right here for your mobile and your uh, bush light right here to take home to your mobile home. <laughs> Costco. So this is your classic serial killer aisle. You've got your, you know, your tape, your uh, zip ties, cage of course, and then you can Clean up the mess with the power washer. Okay, how many kids do you have to feed to need 60 Rice Krispie treats? Unless you're the Duggars or Mormons. Who who was shopping here? <gasps> the mother load. <gasps> get, get, get. <laughs> oh, dude, they're doing samples right now of Oreos. I'm gonna do you want one? You, you've had an Oreo before. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's a free or I, I like Oreos. Stop. What is this? What century are we in? Is this feed? What other store can you get this in an iPad? You know the muffin and the muffin and the muffin. <laughs> 12 muffins for like a dollar. Dude, this pharmacy sucks. I thought this was Costco. They wouldn't give me a 30 pack of Sudafed. I have congestion. You know what signature we do need on the Constitution? Kirkland's. <laughs> I mean, every, everything they make is amazing. I have pots and pans, brownies, uh, the vaccine. Kirkland's signature vaccine. <laughs> you know how it's like impossible to finish a loaf of bread before it gets moldy? Let's get a, let's get a three pack. Yeah, we'll be able to, yeah. Dog food in bulk, that makes sense. Kitty litter in bulk, you're a psychopath. Kleenexes in bulk, he doesn't deserve you, sweetie. Okay, could you help me get this pallet of D batteries down? Yeah, I'm trying to power my spaceship to Mars. I love Costco, you can do everything here. I'm getting a rental car, I'm getting dinner, getting a new computer, and I'm even I'm doing an outpatient procedure. I'm getting a mole removed. Yeah, it was free when I bought 12 muffins. I'm gonna go get me another Oreo, change out. <laughs> Excuse me, do y'all have the uh, vaccine? The Kirkland Signature vaccine? Should be the same thing, just cheaper and 16 doses. No, okay, I'll wait for it, it's fine. Best part of this whole thing, you won't believe how cheap it is. Comes to $328, but I, mean, but I got so much, we saved so much, right? It doesn't matter that half of it will probably go to waste. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look over all my options before I actually make a decision on that. Yeah, I do. I like the quartz countertops and I like the brass hardware, but I just I just don't know. I can't make that decision right now. Oh, hold on a second. Excuse me. Can I help you? It's okay. I'll just wait till you're off the phone. Wait for what? I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt your phone call. Seems super important. Just let me know when you're done. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go. This guy's acting super strange. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Is there something I can help you with? Hi, my name is Alan. I just want to introduce myself. I'm David. Um, what is this all about? I just thought it'd be nice to introduce myself. Okay. Now, if you could please give me everything you have. Everything that I have? W what are you, robbing me? Ugh. I hate that word, but please? What do you mean, please? I'm just trying to be polite. But you're robbing me. How are you being polite? I said please. But you're robbing me. Hey. Oh, what's going on over there? This guy's robbing me right now! I said please. Oh, that's really nice of you. Are you kidding me? Would you be so kind as to leave so I don't have to stab you for witnessing this robbery? Well, of course! That is very nice of you. I see nothing. Thank you. You're welcome, man. What the heck is going on here? I'm robbing you. Okay, I get it. But why are you being so polite about it? Would you rather me be rude about it? I mean, no! You see? Now if you please give me everything you have or I'll be forced to stab you in your smooth, silky skin. Jeez, that was really nice of you. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I don't mean to be rude. No, no, not a problem, I'll wait. Okay, okay, thanks. Hello? Love? <gasps> oh my gosh, the baby's coming? Congratulations. <laughs> okay, Ooh, okay, I, I, I'll see you soon. All right, I love you, bye. <sighs> My wife's having a baby! We better hurry up, that's amazing! <gasps> okay, thanks! Oh, wait, hold on! Um, I have my wallet and, and this right here, is, is that okay? Oh, thank you. Yes, this is plenty. Whew, I'm really nervous right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dad! It'll be fine, you're gonna be a great dad. Thank you, man! <laughs> you know what, I'm sorry for being so rude earlier. You've 
you've made this whole experience quite memorable. It pays to be polite. This, this might be weird, but would you maybe want to grab some coffee sometime? Sorry, I can't. I'm a thief. Oh, you're right. Oh, man, I am so stupid. Don't say that about yourself. You're smart. Now go be a great dad. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> Hey, Nanny, you, you called me? Yeah, earlier, but never mind now. Well, my bad, I was working. What you doing? Well, I drove down the neighborhood to see who this was moving in. Oh, Lord. All right, Nanny, don't be a Karen. You know nobody don't like no Karen. <laughs> I know you're not talking about that helper that work at the deli in the supermarket. No. Maybe I like to come through this phone and wear your ass out. No. Now, don't do your grandmama like no, that. No, Nanny. Karen, a uh, Karen nowadays is somebody that called the police on somebody for no reason or just not minding their business. That's that's a Karen. Oh, baby, if I'm gonna call the police, somebody got a warrant, and I'm gonna get paid for calling it in. Oh, now I'm not a snitch, but don't push me. All right, well, just be careful watching people. Oh, he waving. Hey! Oh God, now he's walking over here. Just, just be quiet. All right. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm Tina Smith. How are you? Hello, I'm I, I'm Nanny Lucky. Nice to meet you. I, I I see your family moving in. Yeah, it's me, my wife, and my two beautiful kids. Ain't that beautiful? Yeah. You got a dog too? Yeah, that's Beans. Great dog. Well, baby, don't let him shit in my yard. Well, okay. Well, I'd hate to have to retaliate. Uh oh. Ain't shit in your yard. <laughs> Eighty-two year old woman with a blouse pulled up. It may not be a sight you want to see. But it's a sight to see. Oh, no, ma'am. You would never. Okay. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself and let you know if you need anything. And I mean anything. You let me oh, know. Oh, well, uh, I was actually wondering if you could, you know, help me find some trees. Well, yeah, we got, uh, we got Home Depot down here to the right. And if you keep going down, just keep going down that road and you head south. There's a Lowe's and... Well, I was... You I was actually mean, well, you know. No, I don't know what you mean. E exactly. You're going to have to speak up, young man. I well, don't like. I was actually meaning like uh, some tree. Hold up. Oh. Nanny, don't. Well, why you ain't just say so? I'm sorry. Well, you're not a cop, are you? You know y'all have to identify yourself. Oh, no, ma'am. I'm actually the pastor at the new church on 39th. Oh, hey, yeah. pastor. Hey. Nice to meet you. Oh, call me Tanner, please. Tanner. Okay. Well, Tanner, get you a whiff of that. Nanny. I call that lemon meringue. Oh, that's, that smells great. Oh, yeah. And there's more where that comes from, too. Well, you think maybe I could get a 40 sack from you? Yeah. You sure oh, okay. can. All sure right. Can. Well, master. But listen, uh -huh. same time, because I don't know you. Okay. Oh, of course. Okay. Uh-huh. There it is. All right. Well, let me finish unpacking. All it's right. Nice meeting you, okay? Well, it was nice meeting you, too. Nanny. Ah, oh, young man. Nanny. You know, I may have to check out his congregation. Nanny, you just sold weed to a pastor. Boy, money is money. He either gonna get it from me, or he gonna get it from somebody else. That is wrong. You know that, right? You know what? You sure do got a lot to say for somebody that get money on every birthday and, 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 and every Christmas. I tell you what. I'm going to just take you out my will. Nanny, you don't have a will. Yeah, well, w when I do, you won't be in it. Shit. Talking about what's wrong and what's right and, and, and what's wrong is not answering the phone when your grandmama calls. I was... Matter of fact... I was busy. Get your ass off my lap. Nanny. You... Fucker. Uh, finally done. Let me just sip this up. <laughs> Come on. not even that much in here.